New tonight, a 20-year-old man arrested, accused of breaking into a home and trying to sexually assault the woman who lives there. Police say her son scared the suspect off. The night team, Steve Cooper, has more on that story. Scary. This woman was very shook up by this. Manchester, New Hampshire police taking a man into custody late this afternoon, hours after a terrifying incident overnight. A woman waking up around 3 a.m. to find a man in her bedroom here on Silver Street. That man taken into custody was in a home across the street. This is a much more dangerous situation when somebody actually breaks into your home. And if the allegations are true, what transpired after the break-in is even more alarming. Police say the suspect attempted to sexually assault the victim who began screaming. And when her son ran into the bedroom, the suspect bolted from the house. Pretty terrifying. It's like you sleep and then when you wake up, you hear someone in your house, you don't know who it is, maybe a family member, maybe not, it could be anyone, but it's pretty frightening. Police were reviewing surveillance video and also speaking with neighbors through the day. Detectives have now determined that another house on the street was broken into as well. What's your reaction? It doesn't surprise me in this neighborhood. You know, it's crime in the city is horrible and from what we've heard, it was just looking for something small, something probably to pawn. Investigators increasing patrols in the neighborhood looking for a break in the case after residents were left on edge. Usually break-ins are during the daylight hours, and most of the time if somebody's going to break in, they break in, if they break in in the middle of the night, they're expecting that somebody might be home, and so they may, may encounter somebody, and that automatically makes it a much more dangerous situation. Again, police were reviewing these surveillance cameras from homes in the neighborhood most of the day. And at the moment, residents are just thankful that there's been a break in the case. Police say everything remains under investigation. In Manchester, New Hampshire, Steve Cooper, 7 News 19. Fucking retarded. Huh? Unbelievable. News crew gets it as <laughs> perpetrator is getting arrested. My, what are the chances, huh? People, wake up to all the fucking bullshit, okay? The news TV cameras are not going to be there when someone's being arrested. What a bunch of fucking bullshit. Fucking wow, so stupid. It really is.